Hey, good morning everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. It's Thursday morning. It's about 55 degrees and rainy in New Hampshire. And I'm having a little bit of a rough start getting going this morning, guys. But I'm trying. I've already got about three cups of coffee in me. I think what it is, I realize I have a lot of stuff I have to do today. I just pulled my orders. I sold 13 items between Tuesday afternoon and this morning. So I've pulled them. I've got them set up. I'm going to show you guys what I sold and then I gotta ship them out of here and then I have to take all of those boxes that I packed the other day and I gotta get them into the van and I gotta drive them down to Keene to the UPS Center and I'm going to have to carry a hand truck and on top of that I've got a friend that's bringing me over like 300 records that he wants me to sell for him and I really can't go to the UPS until he's come it would just be a lot easier for me to be here when he gets here so I'm just gonna hold off on uh, going out to Keene until then. So let me show you guys what I sold over the last couple of days. Okay, so the first thing going out is this uh, Dunkin Donuts coffee uh, mug. It's a nice shape. It's got some uh, wear and tear scratches and whatnot, but uh, I think it had a little crack in the, uh, yeah, it's a little, there's a little crack in the uh, top part if you can see, but um, I had that listed for a while. Uh, probably, I probably had it listed for a few months. What is sold for $19.95 plus shipping, so it's going to go in a flat rate envelope. And the next item that sold was this uh, Vivitar Vivicam F128 uh, 14 megapixel camera. Got that at uh, my friend's hospice thrift shop for 5 bucks, and it sold for uh, $20 free shipping. And this will go in a padded envelope. And then I sold this pair of Nova 35 Radio Shack vintage headphones. Uh, this is cool, man. These are like straight up 80s. Very nice. Uh, those sold for uh, $10.95. Free shipping. Uh, this is a pair of uh, beaters for uh, original Hamilton Beach model 79-1. I picked this up last March at Savers for like 3 bucks, and the motor was shot on a blender. So I uh, ended up selling the power core for 20 and then this just sold for 15 free shipping. So and I make a few dollars. I picked up this string swing metal home and studio guitar mount. I found two of those at Savers a while back for like $2.99 a piece minus my coupon. So probably two and some change. Uh, and uh, I sold this is the second one I'm selling for $15.95. Then I sold this uh, genuine Philips Norelco 8000X um, power cable. And I got uh, $8.50 free shipping. It's in rough shape. It's got like peeling on the plastic and stuff. But... Uh, people get it. I mean, I guess it was just cheap enough. So my it works fine though, you know. And then I sold these uh, two video games. It's uh, PS1 Smackdown 1 and 2. Guys, it was so bad. I thought I lost those games. I looked for those games for half an hour. I thought I was going to have to cancel the order. But luckily, I found them. Uh, then we sold this uh, bagel guillotine bagel cutter. That's been listed for a while. I picked that up at Savers for 3 bucks, I think. Minus discount. And uh, I got 25 free shipping. Next we have this vintage Interact Super Pad controller for the Super Nintendo. And it sold for... These don't sell well, guys. If you ever find these, the original ones are really good. But these don't do well. But I got uh, $7.95 free shipping. Uh, then I sold this uh, American Girl doll desk with stool. That stool usually sells for like 18 by itself, but I wanted to try to sell it as a lot. Somebody came in with an offer last night of 15 bucks, and I had it listed at 35 and I was like, no! So I uh, declined the offer, and she sent me an offer of 20 and then I sent her back an offer of 25 and wrote a message telling her that I really have to get 25 And so she accepted so I sold it for $25. I got this from the hospice thrift store in a bag of Dolly stuff I showed you guys. It was uh, it was all free, so I, this is all profit. It's a good profit. American Girl doll stuff is pretty good if you can find it cheap enough. Then I sold this OXO Good Grip Spiralizer replacement set. Uh, I got uh, picked that up for a buck ninety nine, I believe, or ninety nine cents, and sold it for uh, thirteen free shipping. And uh, then we got this uh, food processor replacement uh, bowl and lid for an. Emmy, a Hamilton Beach Model 544 Emmy, and that sold for 20 free shipping. I, I can wrap that in bubble wrap. 
it'll go first class. All right, guys, I'm going to go pack that stuff up. My guy might be coming early. My guy is actually the mailman. He wants me to sell his records. And so he might actually want to unload those records before he starts doing his mail run. That way he doesn't have all those records in his back seat while he's trying to get packages. So I'm hoping he doesn't come too early because I haven't packed these items up yet. So wish me luck, boys. And I almost forgot this uh, cool little holster, guys. This is for like a Colt Python. It's a uh, Hunter Model 4500-4. I didn't get quite as much money as I wanted for it because it's got a big old stain on the back. But, I mean, it's cool. It's a good shape. I sold this for my friend uh, Greg. I ended up taking an offer of $10 with $5 shipping. Hey, don't you come around here starting no mess there, boy. Alright, guys. So we've made the deadline, filled up the bucket, and we just have to wait on the mailman now. I think another cup of coffee is in order. Guys, we just sold this ravioli maker part and uh, picked it up for like $2.99 in the Salvation Army. I had it up for $25, but I took a best offer of $20. So it took the buyer a few days to pay, but they just paid. So let's get this bad boy out of here. Hey guys, so it's about 12.30. I'm getting ready to take off. It's raining out today, not the greatest of days. But I got the uh, big boxes of doors packed up, and we're going to shoot over to UPS, which coincidentally is located at the Advanced Auto Parts. I guess that's just how they do things around here, boys. As you can see, we got these bad little guys in there, and they're heavy. But I got all kinds of little messages for them. Hey, caution, it's 84 pounds. Be careful, you. Hey, I'm fragile. I got glass on me. Same, same over there, guys. It's all marked. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I just dropped off those packages. You know, guys, since I'm already in the area, I might as well go check out the Salvation Army. I think I'm going to bring you little good luck antiquities with me. All right, guys, so we've arrived at the Salvation Army. Looks like they're still serving lunch here, boys. Better get a grilled cheese while you can. I don't see a lot of people today, guys. Maybe that's a good thing. You know how I feel about that. It could mean something, or it could be nothing. Let me grab my mask and go in here and see what we can find. All right, guys, looks like we found some things here at the Salvation Army. Uh, I'll show you guys when I get home. It's quite a bit. Found some pretty good stuff today. Uh, I'll show you guys everything when we get back to the house. Oh, you didn't think I was done thrifting for the day, did you? Uh, we just pulled up to our little honey spot, boys and girls. Why don't we go in there and see if we can make a little bit of money? Guys, it looks like more than a thrift is really setting their expectations high here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think no. All right, so it's about 3:30. It's starting to get dark. It's still raining, and I think I'm going to shoot over to the house. I think I'm pretty much done for the day. I found a couple bags, guys. What I'll do is, uh, I found that blanket. I'll show you guys when I, uh, when I get back what's up. So it wasn't the greatest day. So I spent $14 at more than a thrift, and I spent $82.50 at Salvation Army. I don't feel like I found any home runs per se, but I do feel like I found a few good items that will help me out. But it definitely wasn't like last Thursday. I almost feel like because this is a more rural area, it just doesn't make sense to go to the thrift store every day. I just don't think they would be able to put enough out. So I've been going like two or three days a week. I may not even go tomorrow. The van is going in the shop to get some work done. Alright guys, so I think the best way to do it would be to show you the hard goods that I found. And then I can show you the clothing items that I found. So I picked up this Weber hamburger press. And it looked like it was going for about $15. It's a pretty good shape. Then I also picked up this Bedazzler, the Salvation Army, it was $4. It looks like they're selling for about $20 plus shipping in pre-owned condition. So I figured I'd probably make 12 bucks on it. Why not? I'm already there. I've already spent the gas to get there. And it won't take that long. And it won't be that hard to list. And then when I was at more of the thrift, I also picked up another Bedazzler for $3.50. And I should be able to sell it for between $15 and $20 plus shipping. I picked up this Vegetti. Vajetti for two dollars at more than a thrift and I think they were selling for 12 to 15. I was kind of desperate today 
So this is a pretty good name to look out for. It's Xylus. Xylus is a company made in Switzerland and I believe they were bought out by the Pampered Chef. So this was pretty good. I paid $250 for this at the Salvation Army. New comps were like $30. I don't think I can get $30 for it, but I, I bet you I could probably get $22.50. I picked up this OXO Grips Mango Splitter and, um, and I think they sell for about $12 to $15. OXO is also another name to look out for. They do okay. You know, um, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not too good to pick up an item to sell for ten bucks. I mean, I don't buy a lot of great stuff, and I'm not one of these types of eBayers that makes millions of dollars a year. I also picked up this uh, basketry item. It's a, you can make your own basket kit, and uh, I had a, I had a store tag on it for thirteen ninety five. I looked it up, and one it sold for around seventeen, and it was two. It was $2.50, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's from the Salvation Army. I got these vacuum bags to Salvation Army. They don't sell for much. They only sell for like $8 to $10. So, not going to make much, but it is probably an extra 4 or 5 bucks in my pocket. I got these Panasonic bags at the uh, More Than a Thrift. They were $2. I think there might be one missing in there. I think I can get between $15 and $18 for this pack. Maybe a little less, because there's probably one missing in there. I picked up these three large packs of vacuum bags. They're for a San Sanitaire model BV-2. And these sell for like $17 a piece. What I'm probably going to do is just put these together in a medium flat rate box and try to get uh, like $40 shipped or something. Uh, they were $2 a piece, 6 bucks. Should do okay. And while we're talking about vacuum bags, I should mention that I found these two boxes and these guys are actually going for like 20 bucks a box. I got these at more than a thrift and they were a dollar a box. A good day for vacuum bags. I picked this guy up at the Salvation Army. It was one dollar. Whenever I find serving saving um, containers I always pick them up. This is the number six and uh, I buy these all the time. Actually I have some over here. I've got one right here. These are high quality plastic containers they just don't really make them like this anymore. I love them. This Tupperware, uh, whenever I find a good piece cheap, I always buy it. I picked up this Harley Davidson Firefighters coffee mug. And I think it's pretty cool. It's not, it's not an official Harley Davidson mug, but there were none others like it. It's made in China. It's made by Mware. Mware doesn't sound like a very good name, guys. But in my mind, all I can see is some firefighter that is like a Harley Davidson fanatic just sitting there at his desk. Hey boys, you want to go riding this weekend? We got the weekend off from the firehouse, boys. But trust me guys, there's somebody out there for this mug. And I got this IKEA piece. I think it's some type of cabinet. I'm not exactly sure. But I looked it up. They're selling for between eleven and twelve dollars. This was three fifty at the Salvation Army. I'm not a huge fan of small profits like this, but when I go somewhere and I don't find a lot of stuff, I'll buy these types of things. I'll put a five dollar bill in my pocket. It cost me probably seven dollars round trip. I got to make that back. I've got an internet hotspot I have to pay for. I got a cell phone with internet I got to pay for. So even though I'm not doing hardcore thrifting on the coast right now. I still got to work. I got this blanket from the Salvation Army. It was two dollars and the reason I got it, it's a throw blanket and the reason I got it was because it has Harley Davidson Visa on it and I really liked it and I think somebody will buy this. I saw somebody had sold one for twelve dollars plus shipping and Harley Davidson's a pretty good name to look out for so I think somebody will probably buy this. It may not sell till spring but I think I can make ten bucks on it. And then I picked up this cool vintage popcorn maker at Salvation Army for $4.50. It's called the old Butter Up by Scoville. Made in the USA. They do not make these anymore, boys. I even plugged it in and the plate got real hot. I looked them up and one had sold recently for like $40. So I wasn't going to leave this at the thrift store. Check this out, guys. It even came with a cool manual. Check that lady out. You don't see gals running around like that anymore. And I picked this up from the Salvation Army. It was five dollars. Really good deal. This is like a club Dutch oven slash pot. It's got a, it's really heavy duty. It's really nice. You can tell it's it's made well. It looks good on the inside. 
the bottom's got a little burning, but it's okay. It's a good, uh, good cover. Looks good. I mean, uh, for five bucks, I'm pretty sure I could sell this for about 25 bucks, guys. This is a pretty nice pot. I didn't want to leave it on the shelf for five. So those were all the hard goods that I picked up at the thrift stores. Um, the rest of the stuff is clothing items that I picked up. Like I said, I generally don't do a lot of clothing, but I'm starting to have to get into it because there's just not a lot of stuff around that I like to sell. So I have to just sell what I can. I found these uh, at the Salvation Army. They were on a rack, and there was a sign that said, Generously Donated by J.C. Penny." They're all new with tags. They're plus size, big and tall pants. J.C. Penny wasn't able to sell them, so they donated them to the Salvation Army. Salvation Army was selling them all for five dollars a pair, so I bought every last one. So this is a pair of Van Heusen. It's 62 by. It's 60 by 32. Nice. It's a nice pair of dress pants. It's got the uh, French cuff. Guys, they were originally trying to get 75 bucks a pair. I think I can do okay with these. Then we got another pair of Van Heusen 52 by 30s. They look like they're nice pants. Then we got a nice pair of uh, Hager Hager pants. These are um, 52 by. Th these are 54 by 34. Navy. Good dress pants. I think these would do okay. And then we have another pair of Hagars. These are 54 by 34. We got another pair of Hagars 54 by 32. We got another pair of Hagars 60 by 30s. Another Hagar 60 by 34. Got another pair of Van Heusen's 52 by 30. And one more pair of Hagar 60 by 32s. So I'm definitely no expert in clothing. In fact, I know very little about clothing. But what I do know is those are big sizes. And I know there's some big guys out there that are looking for some clothes and having a hard time finding them. You have to trust me on this. I know. So I think they should do okay at $5 a pair. I might even lot a couple of them together that are the same size. They should be easier to list though since they are new. So like I said earlier, it wasn't the best day I've had. But it was okay. It wasn't terrible. There will be better days, guys. There will be better days. But anyway, I think I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope you have a good night. If you guys enjoy the videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 10 subscribers.